Man, whatever, man. Whatever, bro. Whatever. Golf, golf is the shit, bro. Let's go. Let's do this, baby. Let's do this. EA Sports, Sports. and the and Golden Quarry Tour, Tour are proud, are proud to, showcase to showcase the finest, the finest jump, golfers jump golfers from around, from around the, globe. the globe. From the home from the of the Ryder Cup in 2021, 2021 Whistling, Whistling Straits, it's live, live first round, first round coverage, coverage of the opening event, the Wisconsin, the Wisconsin Open. Open. What might what we have might in, we store have in store for us for the course of these next four, four days? days? We've got, we've got big, big names. names, we've got, we've got dark, dark horses. horses, we've got, we've it, got all. it all as we as look we at the leaderboard leader on this on Thursday. Thursday. Some, good, Some names good names up there, up there including, including our, leader. our leader. Let's go! We'll get out we'll get to the action here as we pick things up on the par 4 6 hole. Okay, I'm gonna push it on the left side. Wind is coming pretty hard. Let's go. Let's go. Well, you oh, you can't walk out of the Gotta go over that mound. Right right Probably hit that bitch with a pitching wedge. Let's go. What an exciting time in our future golf. Oh, oh damn. Never mind. Corn Ferry Tour. It's a good time to bring in our friend Nota Begay the third. Four times a winner on the PGA Tour. Cut his teeth on this very circuit. Nota, what do you remember about that time? What do you remember about that time? I have a sneaking, have a sneaking suspicion, suspicion one round, one round in, particular in particular is, is going to is pop, going to pop, pop into your mind. Well, Rich, well, Rich uh, yes, yes, a great, a great memory, memory for me. Shot the first, shot the first 59, 59 in the history, in the history of the Corn Ferry Tour, Tour, which is a, a huge, a huge um, um, positive, positive memory, memory in my mind. mind. And, and, uh, what, uh, did what it did tell me in terms of, terms of my career and what it meant moving forward was the fact that you have to go out and you have to be aggressive. You have to make the reason you have to shoot low scores. There's no laying up on the Corn Ferry Tour if you want to take that next big step to the big show. Oh, 
That bitch punched right through the wind, bro. I thought the wind would stop it. Gonna have a slight lie. That rough. Ooh. That bitch to roll. I want that bitch to roll on the left side down to the hole. Let's go. Damn, they didn't even fucking make it. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine for birdie, for birdie. They call that position A. That's going to be right down the middle.
This is a nine-footer. Nap got it out there too far. It was trying to come back, but couldn't get there. That one finished off. It's a bogey here at number eight. And he's going to fall back now to one over par. Headed to the clubhouse now for a hot dog and a soda at the turn. But first, a little bit of business here with this par 4 night. And this is going to take a straight tee shot. Uh, trouble on both sides of this fairway. Also, be very, very aware of the shape of this fairway. It's downhill and slopes left to right. That one up the right side. Uh, errant tee shot here, Rich, but going to have to muscle this one out of the rough. Second shot coming up. Let's check in for the first time with Notovigay the third. 156 yards left. Ball sitting down just a bit, but he should be able to handle it. He'll be disappointed with that, no doubt. Yes, swing didn't quite look right on that one. Well, obviously, that's not his best, but it'll be quickly forgotten, Frank, if he's able to get out of here with his par. Well, you might forget it. I won't. <laughs> Far from his best. Now, that was right all the way. Okay, a shake of the head as that one is finished off. And that's going to move him back to two over par. So we begin this backside with the par four tent. It's 391 yards. This one's all about positioning. You want to try to keep it down the left side of the fairway because there's that deep bunker on the right. That's a 240-yard carry. That's a pretty good poke.
And we'll have to see here. It looked like that ball hopped from the lighter rough into the heavier stuff. No, nah, that's not going to escape it. Safely in. It's a par here at the 10th. And he'll hold steady at plus three. So one round in the books. Frank, how would you assess what you saw from this golf course? I think the golf course was the star, Rich, really. There's enough good holes out there, some strong par fours to really make you think. And then there's enough opportunity. Some of those short par fours and par fives, they're certainly gettable. So... Uh, I think it bodes well for, for the remaining uh, the remainder of this tournament. So that's it for us. For Frank, Noda, Iona, and our entire crew, Rich Learn. Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to feature some of the best young talent in the world of golf. golf. Fuck you. From Whistling Straits Golf Course on the shores of Lake Michigan, live second round coverage of the Wisconsin Open. But if we see more of what we witnessed yesterday, we're in for a heck of a battle these next three days as we show you the current leaderboard here on this Friday. We've got a tie at the top at six under par. But the golfer we'll be following, a low score is going to be a must in order to make the cut as they're currently four shots below the line. So let's get out to the course as we pick up the action starting here at the par five fifth hole. No problems there. That's going to wind up safely in the fairway. Now from better than 300 yards out, a second to the par five.
13 feet away. Oh, no problems at all. The pace perfect. It is in for birdie. And hopefully that can jumpstart the round because it's going to take a good one to overcome yesterday's performance and make it through to the weekend. Set to go now at the sixth. It's a pretty short par four. Yeah, slight dog leg to the right, but you can play it straight away. There's a series of bunkers down that left side, and then they really choke the fairway at about 320 yards. Yeah, that's a nice swing, and the result is going to be a tee shot that is set up just fine. Second shot straight ahead, and we go to Iona Steven. Yeah, and this sixth hole is the shortest on the front nine, known as Gremlin's Ear. That's because of the unique shape of this green. Thankfully, the pin today is in the front portion. Definitely more accessible, but beware of those bunkers short right. That is always so disappointing from that kind of a spot when you come up short. Yeah, you're looking your chops over that one. The shot you think you could hit directly at the flag. Uh, now, test for the short game. Okay, that's good punt. It is in to save par. And he'll remain at plus four. Heading now to the picturesque par three seven. 221 yards along Lake Michigan. Long green making club selection absolutely crucial and putting a challenge. Second shot straight ahead, and we go to Iona Steven. Well, it's a striking hole here at seven with Lake Michigan running all down the right-hand side. Fortunately, we're dry, but a tough bunker shot coming up.
Bro, I think you are missing quite a bit on the sides for your digital character. I mean, all I'm saying is I just don't think it's a realist. Yeah, that's gonna leave a tough putt coming up. This one measures out to 15 feet. Good putt there to save his bar. And he'll remain right where he is. Onward to the 506 yard part for eight with over a hundred bunkers. The eighth testing every golfer's nerves. Imperative to favor the left side to avoid a severe drop off to Lake Michigan. And dunes and bunkers on the right. Just what you want at this point in the round. You're trying to find a rhythm, hit fairways, hit the middle of the club Nobody face. And that's what they get right there. No you gotta anyways, think this no an extra shot. half club or more. As he sets for a second into the wind. Where my mods at? Where my moderators at? Somebody kick his ass. Fucking up my swing, bro. Get this GMA. WKND. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, bro. Y'all fucking me up. Hear my silent. BJ before I pay for this game. Mm, that is straight into the thick stuff. <laughs> Motherfuckers talking during my back swing. Quit talking during my motherfucking back swing. <sighs> face with tears of joy, face with tears of joy, face with tears of joy. The thick stuff. I hear can be giving them out cheap nowadays.
Dark truck stop price is cheap. Mm, more troubles there. All right, that's in for a double bogey six. And that's going to drop him back down to six over. Ready to round out the front nine here at Whistling Straits with a 442-yard par four. This one plays a little bit downhill in the fairway, and everything slopes towards the right. So you've got to be aware of that and just aim that tee shot a little further left than you'd uh, think you would. The shot was so bad it rolled back down the hill. Well, that is right, and that could be trouble. Mm, that ball went straight down into the heavy rough. We'll see how much that missed fairway is going to cost him this, his second from far back. Frank, it wasn't the sexiest shot, but it was an important one. How was he able to extricate himself from that heavy rough with the middle iron? I don't know, Rich. Uh, maybe we've got a new contestant for Mr. Universe because it takes some muscle to get it out of that thick stuff, especially when you don't have that much loft. A five iron, that's a dodgy call. Yep, heard that nicely. That'll work out just fine. Mm, that's going to leak out to the right and trickle away. Not the right read there. Okay, a shake of the head as that one is finished off. And he'll continue his slide. He is at nine over par. So, Frank, this a very difficult Friday for our featured golfer. Nothing seemed to go right. And this is going to wind up an MC. Uh, that stands for missed cut. Not hammer, that's for sure. You'll feel like hitting yourself with a hammer.
EA Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to showcase the finest young golfers from around the globe. From Wolf Creek Golf Club in Mesquite, Nevada, live opening round coverage of the Desert Championship. This is going to be a compelling four days of golf. A lot of storylines to follow as we move through the weekend and we take a look at the leaderboard here in round one. A lot of folks fighting for the title, including our leader. We head out to the course as we pick up the action on the tee at the par four fourth. No fairway here, this one in that rough. So into week two now, that first tournament in many ways about dealing with the nerves, first ever professional tournament. Uh, Nota, what do you typically take away after that first week? You, you didn't put everything together, but you did get your feet wet. Certainly, and you have to look at the history of the Corn Ferry Tour, and many a player have struggled early in the year, but has still gone on to garner one of those spots in the top 25, which is critical at the year end. And this is just a learning experience. You've got to pick and choose your moments, when to uh, be aggressive and when to stick to your guns. And in this particular case, got off to a slow start, and maybe this is a week they can build on. Mm, from the rough into the bunker or the frying pan into the fire, sometimes mistakes, they just have a way of compounding themselves. how quick that was very difficult to get that to stop even out of the sand and that race is right on by like it was in. That one finished off. It is a bogey here at four. And he'll drop back to one over par. We come now to one of Wolf Creek's signature holes, the 490-yard par 5 fifth, another elevated tee. The key here is to clear the desert and creek off the tee and find the fairway. From there, reaching the green in two is definitely a possibility. Long drive, but a bad lie. A uh, wicked.
And that's where you need to be, back into the fairway on this par five. A birdie putt down to Iona. You're going to have to trust the read here and start this ball far enough out to the left because it's going to work all the way back to the right before it straightens out towards the hole. Yeah, that's good putt. It is a par here at the fifth, and he'll stay at one over. This is an excellent hole here at Wolf Creek, the par 4-6, 447 yards. If you're going to hit driver off the tee, keep in mind there is a creek out there, and that approach is uphill to a hard green. This hole's all you want. This doesn't look promising. Uh, and that is not going to slow down. It runs right out of the fairway and into the water. So the decision is to re-tee it. And now after the penalty, this will be his third shot. Okay, this one going to stay in the field of play, and even better than that, it's in the fairway. Frank, what does the player need to consider on this approach shot here at the sixth? 
There's only really one bunker that's a problem. That's the one on the left side. It shouldn't really come into play if uh, if you're playing nicely. It's a little narrow in the front, and this green starts to widen up. Uh, once again, distance control and adjusting for the altitude. This one's looking good. What a nice shot. Right on the green and a pretty easy putt on the way. This from about 10 feet. Uh, nicely judged, though it's 4-5 here at the par 3. He is very quickly down at 2 over par. Frank, a very short par four here at the seventh, but not one you're going to try to hit off the tee? No, if you, unless you can fly the ball sort of 300 yards on the nose and stop it within sort of five or six yards, it's really too risky. This green is not very deep, just sort of 10 or 15 yards in depth. Uh, it's just a lap hole, but uh, lap hole just, uh, it simply doesn't mean grab a club and hit it down the fairway. The best way to play it is to try and hit the ball right on the number. And where I mean by number, I mean the full shot yardage for your second shot, even if that only is a sand iron. Yeah, very controlled shot there with the iron on this short par four, and that's going to be just fine. So after the big drive, this a short approach to the par four. Okay, not particularly close, but a chance for the putter to do its thing. Birdie putt coming up, and we go to Iona Steven. 
Yeah, and I'm seeing a bit of right to left break on this, but that's certainly not the focus. It's a steep slope, so you've got to concentrate and make sure you get this up to the hole. He'll finish that one off with no problem. It's in for par, and he'll stay right where he is. For the golfer we had our eye on, no other way to say it, Frank. Just not a real good day out there. It could be a short week, Rich. Um, we can complain about the conditions and that, but look at the leaderboard. Uh, the rest of the field, they didn't have a problem. So that should just about do it. Not a good day out there. Funny, ha ha, funny, funny. Motherfucker. Nah, but for real, for real. Uh, this is a completely different game compared to uh, 2K PGA Tour EA. It definitely feels a lot of RNG um, with the 2K it's more skill based when it comes to the drawback on the analog stick your inputs really really matter and i noticed with this one they gave it this rpg type feel that um if you don't put points in the certain things for recovery and blah 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 your dispersion circle is greater so you could line it up perfectly fine you could you could put the right amount of spin on it you could use the right shot type and feel smooth with the stick it's gonna randomly pick a spot the ball is gonna fall within that dispersion circle so it feels kind of frustrating but it does give you like this this need and this want to, to try to level up your character to make that circle smaller <laughs> You'll see it out there. It's like a shadow, an overly shadow. EA Sports, Sports. and the and Corn Ferry Tour, Tour are proud to feature some of the best young talent in the world of golf. From Eastern Nevada and Wolf Creek Golf Club, it's live second round coverage of the Desert Championship. Things starting to slowly take shape here on this Friday. For some, it is a race for the top prize. For others, it's a fight to stick around for the weekend as we show you the leaderboard. A number of folks in contention, including our leader, will join the action on the tee at the par 3 11. So... I'm going to go down a club because this shit is 82 feet below me. I went down two clubs. As you can see, that black shadowy circle essentially is the area in which the game will decide it wants to put your ball. It's like gambling. It's just not slots. It's fucking golf. It can be annoying. But I gotta remember, it's just a golf game. Get it lined up. Plus, my character is fucking new. I mean, ain't no fucking pro. I got shitty ass golf clubs. If I'm new, I don't even know why I'm in this goddamn tournament, to be honest. But that's the only way to get points to level up your character. Alright, wind is four miles per hour. I want it to drop. To the right of the green and roll into the hole.
<laughs> and I think he was a little wary of hitting the ball too far there, and he winds up leaving it short. God damn, boy. Even when I downed it, two clubs, the bitch went flying. But it went far fucking right. A pitch. A pitch. Birdie chance with a pitch. This will be a 14 foot putt here. The break, the break on this fucking game is ridiculous sometimes. Par 5, 12, and Frank, another reminder that Wolf Creek can really be intimidating. It, it can. Water down the left. Uh, they'll take a huge dent off your scorecard. Uh, a lot of fairway down the right. Somehow find that this par 5 can be reachable in two. There's still trouble to the right of this green if you get a little bit cavalier. This, without doubt, the longest green on the golf course. It's 55 yards from front to back. not going as intended. Be a little disappointed with that because it lands in the rough and it appears to be fairly thick over there. That's what he wanted to do. After the tee shot, puts himself in really good position here on the par five. Okay, it's not stone dead, but that's not too bad. A six footer now for Birdie.
Okay, that'll help the cause. It's a birdie here at number 12. And he's going to need a little bit more of that as he is still two shots outside the cut line on this Friday. Well, this is all about temptation at 350 yards, this 13th here at Wolf Creek with a dog leg to the right. If you're a long hitter, you're thinking about it. Maybe you're going to cut the dog leg and try to drive the green, but keep in mind, if you miss it to the right, wave goodbye to your golf ball. I mean, I don't, I don't have the power to get there. Even if I fade it, I don't, I don't think I have the power. My character just, character just ain't got it, bro. But I'm like, it's the 13th, and like you said, I'm two holes to the cut line, honestly. It's the 13th. And it's a fucking video game. So let's have some fun. Let's do this shit. God damn. I'm, I'm trying to fucking power this bitch. Let's go. Hey, that worked. That worked. Second shot, missing the fairway with the drive. Now in the rough. Not in the fairway, but not a real problem here at the 13th. Getting set to play his second shot. So the ball is below me, in the rough. It's gonna go hella right. Shut, shut up. Shut, just shut the hell up. Shut the hell up. I can pitch it up there, but the bitch is gonna go fucking running. It's gonna go running. Fuck! It won't let me club. I could, I could flop it. It's a long flop. Uh, let's do a long flop. I think the RNG is gonna let it run just a little bit. We'll do a low, high flop, long flop correction. If I can get it somewhere here. If I make it too far left, it's gonna roll into the fucking trap. If I go too far forward on the left side, it's gonna roll towards the center and hopefully stay a flat. If it goes too far right, the bitch is gonna go all the way down the goddamn green, all the way to the right. And this long flop is gonna run just a little bit, just a little bit. Fuck it. I'm fucking, I'm a, I'm a gangster. I'm a gangster. I was gonna go right to fuck. All right, let's aim left. Let's aim left. Come on, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. Come on, give me the RNG, guys. Let's go. Meander its way to the right. 
So I'm gonna aim just here. Got it there, but not quite on target. See, and on, on other fucking holes where the bees are running fast like that, they're running fast. <sighs> they act differently. I might just turn these fucking beads off, to be honest. Hold here at Wolf Creek. Time to pull out the driver and as well the phone because you want to take some pictures here. What a spectacular view. Stunning. You can see a whole panoramic sort of 360 degrees right around this golf course. Then when you flick back and actually look at the 14th hole, there's six bunkers. Three really in play with the tee shot, as you can see. The other three just up by the green. Anything to the right of those is, uh, is preferred unless you want to be playing your second shot out of the canyon or the bunkers. Um, green should be fairly receptive and three distinct portions which is sort of a common trait here at uh, Wolf Creek that's sort of uh, three different tier levels and that but let's see birdies that'll be made at Wolf Creek maybe even one here Nothing a fault there. Good balance, good follow through, and a good start to this hole. Walking the course today, let's bring in Nota Begay the third. 146 yards left to the hole. Wind definitely hurting in his face. Views for a eighty dollars base game. Yeah, yeah, it, it is definitely different. I think really the people who play golf games only have one other game to kind of base everything off of, and that's kind of like the standard, and that's two K. Um, it's definitely 2K is, I wouldn't say more sim, sim like. But when you play that shit for eight years, you kind of get used to that, that way of playing. And I've had Golf Club 2019, and then I got 2K21, which is the same damn company. You just got bought, bought by 2K. So I've played two iterations of that one. And this is completely different. It's unique in the sense that you have these different shot types. The clubs, for the most part, play like real life, I notice. But like the lie angle and the position of the ball, I notice doesn't have a, a, a true difference when you're swinging off the ground. But like when you're higher up in the air and aiming at something down below, I notice there's a difference there. Um, but I can say that they did put an attention to detail on the courses with 2K. They made like a, a baseline uh, system that the ball, how the ball reacts, the physics is baseline. And you can create tons of different, man, you can make shit. Like there's a golf course here. If I wanted to, I can go play 2K. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. But I, I play the golf game to kind of just 
kick my feet up and play. Um, I've been I've been kind of over games to be honest. Like I was thinking about buying Diablo, and I was looking at the two. I was like, golf or Diablo? They're both repetitive. Golf, I can just push a few buttons, swing, turn it off. Diablo, if I turn it off and don't play, I'm gonna be behind and. Uh, I, I just I just bought golf and then I got all the free fucking games to play but right, hold on hold on hold on let me hit this let me hit this shit Or won't be played. See, I fucking I clubbed up on that. I went up a club to go further. Baby's first RPG. Oh, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. I mean, I had fun playing with you and Wayne and, and Tom and everybody. I, that, I mean, that was fun, but it, I just every time I play a Diablo or a Path, and I didn't get to play much with y'all on Diablo Two because my fucking computer. But when I went to go over y'all's houses and watch y'all play, it was just some. It had a charm. It was just something about it. it, was, it even y'all repeated the same fucking cow level over and over and over and over and over and over. It, it just, it, it had a charm. And all the other ones I played, Path, D3, D4, I, I just can't, I can't live that charm for it. It's weird to explain. Alright, pitch for birdie. If I can get this to run, it's a Above me, so it's gonna go left. Slight left, slight left. Wins accountable. Oh. Uh. Stage, you won't like ARPGs. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't mind the stats and all the the glitzy purples and greens and yellows and blues and all that shit is kind of cool. I think I just have an image of a game like that where you're fighting something and you find a piece of loot that like. A necromancer isn't supposed to use it isn't it isn't a typical wand or some shit but it's a sword and this sword based on its stats combined with some random piece of of uh, boot does something so strong see that's that's kind of what I'm picturing in my head I would love to come across versus uh, the damn programmer said you got to run this blue arrow boot with the blue arrow shield and the blue arrow uh, toenail and then you're gonna have blue arrow stat times 15 to me it's, just, it's like a cookie cut it just feels cookie cutter there's no uniqueness to it and I guess if I can find a game that has that uniqueness to it where you are beating shit there is some stats but if you mix something with something that you ain't supposed to mix you come up with something cool it's what enables builds Path 
felt like you had to complete these specific sets and everyone was the fucking same. Everyone was, even with like Diablo 3, a little bit, I bought it, got dirt cheap for like $3. Everybody just felt the fucking same. Just the same, same, the same, same. Everybody running around doing the same shit. But I'm not really like a gamer like that anymore. I, I, I just don't, I just don't, I don't get involved in them like that. No more. That's why I don't even fucking stream no more, to be honest. Like it's a pain in the ass to set up the streaming setup. Yeah, it's kind of fucked up that you gotta complete a campaign. I mean, like, why can't you just get on with your friends like, how come you just can't get on with your friends, beat some fucking monsters up, find a cool rare piece or some junk pieces you can sell and trade, and, and, and why the fuck do you have to play the campaign? So that's, so a, that's wrap a wrap for all, for of, all us of us at EA, EA Sports, Sports BGA Tour. Tour. Thanks for, Thanks coming, for along. coming along. We'll see, we'll you, see you next time. time. Subscribing every game. No, shit, not every game I played. You got to do all the fucking campaigns if you want anything out of it. Like even fucking Call of Duty, if you you want anything out of it, you complete the campaign and you get this, 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 and this, and this, and this. Hey, no, no, no. I just want to fucking go to multiplayer, call my boys, see what they're doing, shoot some shit, and get the fuck off. Come on. You did not make the cut. It's out with plus one. No, no. Like, I would, uh. You want instant gratification? No, I just want to play with my boys. Like, I would play Elbian. I downloaded that shit, was playing on that shit. And uh, I was like, oh, this this would be kind of cool. This would be kind of cool. I'm trying to talk to people. And they're like, fuck off, peasant. We don't know you. And I'm like, god damn. I just want to run with some run with some peoples and fucking find carrots and shit. Nope, nobody want to play with me because they didn't know me. I feel like... If you want to fucking get detailed and do the lore and see this character do this to that character and fantasize about it, you better off just sitting at the table with like five friends and playing some fucking Dungeons and Dragons. Just sit there and roll the, the actual dice and then LARP, LARP with each other and talk about, oh, my assassin backstabs you for three. Reroll me. See what that does to you. Like, uh, bitch, I just want to fucking throw some skeletons. I just want to shoot some bitches, laugh, die a couple times, crack some jokes, and get the fuck off. Golfer. So I only got two extra skill points. I want I want to max out my putting short game and then dibble a little bit in my approach accuracy. Driving, I feel like my character's fine at this current moment. If I get another club. 
like a new driver, I think the power and the driving accuracy and shit will be fine. To play RuneScape. I, I, I tried it too. I, I tried RuneScape, but that's another thing that I would love to just play with some friends. I tried to play with some motherfucking friends and, you know, it just want to be like, no, the graphics is ugly. I don't want to touch it. I'm like, what the f- <sighs> That shit gay, bro. I ain't playing that game because that rooms gay. I'm like, okay, all right, that's fine. That's fine. Let's see. Is there anybody online? No one. No one is online. Let's try random nine holes. No one. No one is online. Meet golfers all over the world while playing the world's greatest game. Yeah, yeah, golf. Golf is better than soccer. Low key. Alright, let's see if anybody's in this one. No one's in this one. What about this one? No one's in that one either. Ain't that about a bitch? Alright. Any tournaments? Oof. Okay, cool. Cool, we can play this one. We're about to boycott on this game on Steam. For real? This episode, this episode of EA Sports, PGA Tour Golf. With Frank Dowdle up here in the tower, tower I'm Rich Swerner, and, and, and Frank uh, uh, Riviera is uh, undoubtedly uh, special. People are boycotting? What the oh, fuck? It's golf. <laughs> what the it's fuck? It's fucking golf. This is one of the many places that is called Hogan's Alley. And yet the little book of faith at Riviera is neither Nicholas or Woods ever won around here. It's fucking golf. You hit a ball down a course and try to get it in the hole. So what what are what are some of these fucking complaints, bro? Like, what, what, what are they boycotting? What are they boycotting? All right, let's get this bitch. And that, and that one, one safely, safely on the right, on the right side, side of the fairway. Of the fairway so so that. Those glitches lack of features, but the store works. That's in like every fucking game. And there's really not even nothing in the fucking store besides a pair of pants, t shirt, some golf clubs. It's a fucking golf game. What is supposed to be birds on the fucking golf course squawking and shit? Like, come on, people, for real. Yeah, yeah. When they paid, they paid the fucking PGA pros to put their face on it. That's where that money went. All right, two twenty-three. Yeah, man, because everybody's quick. Quick to just, like, chirp. At this point, 
people should know when you buy a game, either A, it's not finished, B, they're going to patch the fuck out of it and find a way to make money from the patches, or C, it's going to be complete trash. And if you spent the money to buy this game, and you knew those, I feel like you shouldn't be able to go on the internet and bitch about it. You just take the L. Or realize that this is not like Call of Duty, AAA, it's a fucking golf game. And they should feel good about that. Who? EA? Nah, them motherfuckers got their money, though. They got their money. They ain't not worried about it. Hopefully, they do put a little bit more work in here. And um, I think really the only thing I would like to see is them fix the physics on some of these holes. Um, and really, that's that's about it. Hold on, let me take this. Let me take this shot. Because you can either a play as one of your favorite pros if you really watch. If you really watch golf and you just want to pretend to be Scheffler or something, you know. But the main thing is, is I like just building my own little character and pretending I'm and I'm in the PGA. All right, so wood. That bitch is gonna overshoot iron. Ain't gonna be enough. I can play that safe and go on the left side of the green, or even on that fairway. But. I'm going to take a shot at it. Here we go, here we go. Ooh, I think that's going in the bunk. Ooh, okay, okay. Get up there, get up there. Oh, ho, ho. Ah, that's, uh, a, that's great a great job, job avoiding that long, long bunker, bunker in front, in front that falls on the green, the green two, 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 you're the first. The first. From 14, 14 feet, away. feet away, good, good looking eagle. eagle. But yeah, I gotta, I gotta check out some of these, uh, some of these reviews and see like who is reviewing it. If Carlos, who only watches soccer and plays FIFA, is bitching about. It don't got enough drip. And that makes me chuckle. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, downhill, brakes left to right. Let's go. Uh, it's not going to cut. That's not going to cut. I'm going to go right here. That would have been for Eagle? Oh, oh, oh damn. Hey, I'll take a birdie, though. I'll take a birdie. No, nah, ain't nobody trigger, bro. What the fuck? Well, that's well, just, that's just how, you how you picture your head, head out on the range. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that, I'll take that bird. bird. So while you're looking to make three or your number one, you have to work hard for at this second half of 471 yards. But I don't know what else you can do to make it more life-filled. I mean, you want, you want people to do TikTok, Fortnite emotes, and the fucking golf course <laughs> I mean what else can you do it's fucking golf man it's an old man's board shit 
Well, there should be like Bud Light, Michelob Ultra fucking advertisements. You drink a, you drink a Ultra and you get ten extra yards on your swing. Oh, oh, I seen this shit on YouTube. We're gonna hit it straight up the middle, straight up the middle. I'm gonna go left a little bit. And I'm gonna put some power in this motherfucker. Let's go. Then play Golf 98 for Windows. Bitch, you know damn well, unless you emulate Windows, ain't none of that shit gonna work. Beautiful tempo to that swing. This is gonna wind up squarely in the fairway. I don't feel like seeing motherfucking pixels, bro. I don't want to see fat ass pixels moving around. I like I like I like this representation of life likeness. All right, so it's above me seven foot. They want me to go with a wood. The wind is blowing where? To the right, three miles per hour. See, I could go down, but it stopped just short. So, we're gonna aim just here, and hopefully it'll check up and not roll past it. That's what I'm hoping. I'm gonna go a little bit higher with that shot, so maybe it'll just, it'll bounce one good time and get stuck. Ugh, it went fucking to the right. Stop, 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 stop. I knew it. So we're just gonna try to pitch this bitch in then. We're gonna try to pitch this bitch in. We'll check it up. It's in that little rough second cut. It will. It will go to the right out of the rough. So if. If I can pitch it right here, let it check up and roll to the right. Let's go, let's try that, fuck it. Wind's blowing, it ain't gonna make big much of a difference. It's not gonna be in the air that long. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Stop, 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 stop! That's easy straight in. Easy straight in. It's saying it's got a little curve. No, it don't. Let's go. Easy straight in. Bitch! That's slide slide to the right. Never had that on target. For fucking bogey! Even poor. Even poor. Even poor. Even poor. Now the other the other thing that I could complain about that doesn't make any sense is the slow and the fast when it comes in reference to the swing. Because when you draw back on the analog stick, the player has a set animation speed so even if you go slow on the stick he's going the same speed he's bringing the club back behind him the same speed if you fucking yam on the stick he's coming back the same speed i don't understand that 
and I can't seem to find anybody that understands it themselves. Now, I can get overswing and underswing as far as the tempo if you bring it all the way back far enough. Or if you go forward, you know, return your the club back far enough. I, I can I can see that, but like this speed shit makes no sense, especially when the character is on its own set animations. See slow, and then overswing. The slow makes no sense. Narrow, narrow, narrow way, 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 down on the course, let's, let's check, check in with, with Nota Nota the Gay the Third. Third. Looking at a whole yeah, hard three yards to the front, 154 to the hole, pin sitting, pin sitting on, the right. on the right. Can I uh, go with a seven? Oh, it's below me. So eight iron will work. Eight iron will work. We'll see if it is settled down. Slow and underswing. Still makes no fucking sense. I take that though. I take that though. I take that. That's a good shot. Man, pulling too. A green and regular shot. And then it turns! Just gonna just sneak, gonna on, sneak by. on by. Okay, okay. Oh, that's okay. Strong. Strong. Four, four a buck. Well, this is just well, this a great part to a 236 yards, yards the fourth, fourth hole. And as they like as to they say like on tour, you can't, can't fake this one. This will take your best, best shot, 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 and you'd be happy with it. Come right on. Here. I want to get... Oh, shit. I just noticed it is right there. Okay, the wind is blowing. Towards us. It's 16 feet below me. So, a driver, I think it's just too fucking much. A three wood, god damn. It's not gonna sit. What's over here? Okay, okay, we're down a club. Go down another club. We'll three iron it. I'll put a little bit of fade or baby draw. We'll put a baby draw on it. I want it to essentially hit hit here. Should I go with a wood though? Because I don't think an iron will push like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. Because the wind is blowing. We'll keep. We'll keep the draw. A little baby draw. I'm curious. I need. I need more shot. Shot types because fucking drive and punch just ain't fucking cutting it. All right, fuck it, let's try it. Wow. And that one wanders off to the right, the right. So, so trying to see if the wedge is in no fucking sense. Not where I wanted to be. I tell you that.
that she is with me in the rough. It's going to go right just a tad. If I can save it par, I'll be happy with it. Fuck it. It went left. And then checked up too fucking far. Certainly had enough power. power. Just <sighs> shot at this point. Well, that well, last 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 effort. Effort. Still still very, very anxious, anxious but to, but say to say bogey. Bogey. Fucking insane, bro. Tell you what, if there's ever a good moment, that, that might, might be it. Good, good, good concentration there to polish it off. Fucking plus one. No, I can't, I can't, I can't leave that tournament plus one. Sunset Boulevard, Boulevard historic, historic Riviera, Riviera Country, Country Club, Club in Pacific, Pacific Palisades, Palisades, California. California. Hello again, Hello again. welcome, welcome on Rich Learner. Learner. We will we'll check, check in with Nova Gators. I'm Diana, Diana Stephen as we move along. I'm pleased as always to be joined, be joined in the 18th, 18th Tower of the Man, 15, 15 times, times around the world, Frank Novello. And Frank, and Frank looking Frank forward, forward to what should, 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 be, a should be a fun afternoon of golf. Yeah, very much so, Rich. It's quite a while in those afternoon rounds around the world. It's a real special one, but I'm really looking at those for today. To see if they come out of the gates nice and quick, quick. That's, that's for sure. For sure. I, know I know the finish here is always important, always important but get to the, the gates quick, quick and then and see, see if you can finish, finish the job. The job. So. Damn. And that and is that right, is right where, where you want to be. His drive splits the middle to get this round underway. Okay. Let's see if we can recreate... That nice little roll up. Three wood, fuck it. Let's see if we can get there. Let's see if we can get there for Eagle like we did last time, y'all. Nice and straight with a nice little turn. And it went too fucking far. Fuck. Boy, that front well, that front it's an eagle putt though, 20. To the first, to the first, but this but one this landed, landed in a great, great spot, spot and it's on, it the, on green the green in two. In two. Twenty foot eagle put. Bitch ain't gonna break. Ain't gonna break. But we'll take it. We'll take it. I fucking knew it. Run at it. That would have been a nice, nice eagle butt. Nice eagle butt. <laughs> <laughs> the line. A straight, a straight forward look here for birdie. Okay, mission accomplished there. Two putts. And the birdie. 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 The birdie.
Take the birdie, take the birdie. Okay. Let's just get it down there. Let's get it down there. I'm gonna put a little oomph. I'm gonna put a little oomph on it. Stay on the fairway, stay on the fairway. Let's go. And that, that will do, will just, do fine. just fine. Let's I can get this to do a draw, then check up and roll towards the hole on that flat side and get past all these breaks. I think it'd be fine. Fuck it, let's try it. And it goes right. No draw at all. Off the fucking backside of the green. You're pitching in for birdie. Pitching in for birdie. Okay. I wanted to check. I just wanted to check a little bit. I just wanted to check. Come on. That's pretty. Not a long ball, third, 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 I need this to stay on the fairways wide open for the most part. So if I can keep it center and just fade it just a little bit. I'ma pump it though, I'ma pump it. There we go, there we go. Oh, and it's oh, a and narrow, it's narrow fairway, fairway here at three. That'll, three. That'll, That'll be a great, be a great spot. spot. Second shot, shot coming up. Let's check in for the first time. Note of the game, the third. He's got 144 yards remaining to the hole. All the way on the right. Okay, okay, okay. It's down nine feet, but the wind is blowing. I went up a club to an eight iron. If I had a finesse, all I got is punch and approach. If I had a finesse, I could just lay it up on there. I have a feeling that the eight, no, nah, because it's gonna have some hang time. It's gonna have some hang time. The wind's gonna catch it. It's definitely gonna go past the hole, but but it's only two miles per hour. I'd rather play it that way. I'd rather play that. I'd rather play that. All right. Come on, come on, come on. 
Come on, bounce back, bounce back. For birdie. For birdie, 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 birdie. This shit ain't gonna break. It never fucking breaks. But we're gonna swing this. I take a par. I take a par. Okay, okay, that one cleaned, cleaned up without, without any issues. That, that, that is a par. Arriving now at 236 yards. So this last hole fucked me up with a double bogey. Broke me 2 under or 2 over. If I can keep par and be 2 under, I'd be happy with this particular tournament. If I can get it down there and at least hit a birdie and be 3 under, I'd be extremely happy. I don't want to be one under. I would like to stay two under or more. Driver is just too fucking far. I feel like I'm just going to take a shot here. I'd rather see it roll off the back side of the fucking green versus being stuck on the fucking rough on the hill like I was last time. So let's let's hit it. Let's hit it. Doom 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 doom. Wow thing. Oh. Oh. oh, they want me to pitch it? They want me to pitch this shit? Okay, I would I would prefer for it to check up and not go fucking running for days. Let's do that. Come on, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me the birdie or give me the par. Let's go, baby. Take it one under.
Okay, what's the leaderboards look like? How the fuck did they get a six under? Wow. These bitches can play. Alright, so let me look at the golfer real quick and then and then so I got four points and then um and then uh increases the miss hit tolerance window decreased Decreases the impact of off plane swings and decreases the shot dispersion of all. Okay, so let's add on the approach accuracy. Power approach and pick finesse. So though this is going to be my next move. Bit. Oh, damn. Oops. So for now, let's just upgrade this. I want that finesse shot. That's what I want. And then we'll check out the store. And I'm going to end it. Ball spec. What the fuck are these? <coughs> I need to look into what these specs are. I do want. I do want a new fucking. I do want to putter. Before I buy anything, I'm going to do some research and see if the clubs really make a difference. Equipment. Because if that's the case, I need a new putter and a hybrid. Ooh, that was pretty. Those are pretty, pretty. New putter grip. Does the grips make a difference too, or is it just visual? Huh. Okay. I'll check back. Yo, appreciate everybody stopped by. Homies keeping it real. I'll catch y'all next one. Peace.